Hey guys, welcome back to Crazy Chapel Chaos. I'm Mahaley and today I'm going to show you what's in my four children's 2022 Christmas stockings. So stay tuned. All right guys, I wanted to do this in front of the Christmas tree where it was all pretty and festive and holiday-ish and all the things, but I am filming this during quiet time. So it was safer to do it in my bedroom to avoid children seeing it. Um, <clears throat> so that's what I'm doing. I'm getting everything set up behind me with all their stockings and stocking stuffers. And I'm going to show you what's in all four of my children's stockings. Um, this year I have a seven-year-old girl, a six-year-old, he just turned six, I have to think about it, little boy, a four-year-old little boy, and a, at Christmas she will be 21 months or 20 months no 21 months <laughs> um old little girl so i'm gonna show you what is going in each of their stockings so um i'm gonna finish getting this stuff laid out and then i'll show it all to you i'm trying to avoid showing you guys the giant mess that is my room right now we're getting ready for the holiday season of course as well as um my four-year-old surgery is Wednesday uh the 23rd the day before Thanksgiving so it'll be right before the holidays that she's having her surgery so my bedroom has just become a chaos zone there's Christmas presents hidden in here and everything else um we're gonna start with my 20 month old she'll be 21 at Christmas she's obsessed with Frozen um can't really speak full sentences yet, but she can belt out, let it go like nobody's business. So we have a Elsa sippy cup, an Elsa toothbrush, which may, huh, she may freak out because it's a battery powered one. We'll have to see. Some little Elsa hair things. She's just now starting to get hair so we can Pull up her little hair. She's always stealing the hairbrush. So I found this at the Dollar Tree. The little hairbrush. A lot of this came from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> These came from the Dollar Tree as well. They're the bigger, the fatter jumbo crowns for little hands and she loves coloring. So she gets those too. Going along with loving coloring, I found this in the stocking stuffer section at Walmart. Got the stickers and a little coloring book and some more little crayons. One of the Imagine Ink mess free coloring things that is also Elsa. You see a theme here. Some Passy clips. I found these on clearance at Walmart. They're normally like $8 for this two pack and they were marked down to 50 cents. So we grabbed those. Some of the little plain rubber bands for her hair. An Elsa Boggin with some mittens. And this may or may not, this in the sippy cup may or may not fit in her stocking. I've got to see. And if it doesn't, then we'll just wrap it and it'll just be a gift for her. She's not going to know the difference right now anyway. Some socks. And then she's really getting into Play-Doh and stuff with like her older siblings. So she's got her first two little things of Play-Doh here. And then special snacks, we've got the holiday goldfish. And then I don't do a lot of candies. So I just split like a big bag of um, Grinch Hershey's Kisses and the Christmas Reese's Trees between all of them. Let's see, these little cute trees and then Hershey's Kisses, and I just took those and I split them up. They each got a couple of, they each got one Christmas tree and like three or four of the Hershey's Kisses, and that's, my older kids got one more thing of candy, but that's all that they're gonna get candy-wise, because they will sit there and eat all the candy in one day, so it's probably best not to give them a lot. I'm gonna put her stuff into her stocking, and then um, we'll move on to my four-year-old stocking. <laughs> Thank you. 
everything fit except for the hat. So we're just gonna wrap the hat for her. So that's one stocking down. Uh, now let's move on to my four-year-old. If I can reach her stuff, I probably should have pulled it closer first. So she's got a little hat and gloves too. A little pair of unicorn socks that I found at the Dollar Tree. This is the different thing that my older kids have is they each got one of these little Pez dispensers. I think these things are disgusting, but my kids love them and think they're so cool. And I think I was the same way as a kid. Um, but now then I think it tastes like chalk. So. But she's got a little aerial Pez dispenser. A little pink unicorn squishy. Her goldfish. Some Elsa chapstick. She's getting into, she wants makeup and wants to play makeup all the time. So I found these in the dollar spot at Walmart and grabbed them. got her little Reese's and her Hershey's Kisses. Some crowns and colored pencils because all my kids are obsessed with coloring and drawing. Some Play-Doh scents. Um, I got like a three pack of this and split it between my older kids. Hers is um, strawberries and cream scented. It's got like pink and red Play-Doh in it. This little unicorn hairbrush that pops out, has a little mirror up top. Some cute little colorful rainbow pencils. <clears throat> These I got in Staples clearance, for like 40 something cents a pack for my older kiddos. A unicorn battery powered toothbrush. You can kind of see, now that I'm sitting here looking at it all, um, each of my kids are very um, themed. Like the baby was very Elsa oriented because that's what she's into. My four-year-old is very pinks and purples and pretty unicorns. <laughs> so um, as that goes on, I'm sure you'll continue to see other themes. Um, this little LOL activity pad that I got from Dollar Tree it has stickers and some, I think markers is what that is. Some scrunchies and one of those um, scribble scrubbles. Uh, you can, it's like a little animal. Hers is a unicorn, but you can color and then it comes with a little brush and they can wash it off and color it again. So that's what she got in her stocking this year. So I'm gonna grab her stocking, get her stuffed, and we'll move on to my six year old boy. Oh, oh, oh. All stuffed. Um, the hat and gloves, I've just come to the conclusion, are not going to fit in any of these. So I guess that's just, you might see it twice. It might be in my What I Got My Kids for Christmas video as well. So now then, let's move on to my six year old son. <clears throat> his hat and gloves might fit, actually, now that I'm sitting here looking at his stuff compared to the girls. He had, um, he got a little less than the girls, um, but I try to stay equal money wise when it comes to stockings. So, um, I usually try to stay $25 or under for stocking stuffers. Um, and we hit that right on. I think each stocking was 20, $23 this year. Um, so his hat and gloves might actually fit, but he got... A little Spider-Man, he's obsessed with Spider-Man. Hat and glove set. He's also obsessed with Jurassic World. So that's what his toothbrush is, is a Jurassic World toothbrush. He got this little person clip-on, backpack clip-on popper thing. <laughs> crayons and colored pencils. 
The only thing as far as my kids, uh, like my older kids stockings that isn't here yet is I ordered them some markers from Michaels and they haven't came in yet. So you don't get to see those, but they just look like markers. Um, he got a little squishy as well. All of his little snacks. His pencils, their dinosaur and camo. His little Pez dispenser, Spider-Man. He got this. Um, I got this from the Target Dollar Spot. The No and Glow Insects and Bugs. Then he got this Spider-Man activity set. Also has a few markers. And then his scented Play-Doh is mint chocolate chip. So he's got brown Play-Doh and green Play-Doh and it smells really good. I can smell it without even opening it. So I'm gonna get his stocking situated and then we'll move on to my oldest child and she is my seven year old little girl. His hat and gloves did fit. I figured it would because he did end up with a couple less things than my two little girls. Um, again, because we try to keep it even money wise and close to even stuff wise but sometimes you know certain children are a little bit more expensive because they're a little bit more picky than others um now that we're gonna move on to my seven-year-old little girl tally grace um i'm gonna grab her stuff shift it closer to me and show you guys what we got okay she got her little snacks her goldfish and her candies a lot of this is very similar to my four-year-old's, um, my four-year-old's stocking. A lot of things in my kids' stockings are very similar, except for the babies, um, because we kind of do the same stuff every year in our stockings, because we open our stockings first thing, then we have breakfast, and it gives the kids something to focus on while we're eating breakfast, so they're not, can we have presents, 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 presents? So a lot of things are very similar. She got her hat and gloves, her little LOL activity set with the markers, scrunchies, crowns, pencils, hers are um, like pastel, pink, purple, and I'm gonna throw those over there really quick. The pastel, pink, purple, and uh, like that tealish blue color foam color. I don't know what that actually is. She got a little pop-up hairbrush that's a butterfly with the little mirror inside of it. Some chapstick as well. One of those scribble scribble things. <laughs> it's also a unicorn. Less fights that way. Scented Play-Doh. Hers is just vanilla. And it came with the yellow and the white. A squishy. Hers is purple. My four-year-old's favorite color is pink and my oldest daughter's her favorite color is purple. So everything, if I have to buy multiples of it, I try to get two different colors, pink and purple. She got her little Pez dispenser. It's Moana. Her toothbrush, which is the Miraculous Tales of Ladybug. And her colored pencils. Again, the only thing missing is the markers that I ordered. So that's what is in my kids' stockings this year. Um, I hope this guy gave you guys some ideas. Um, I know every family does stockings different. Some people put their big gifts in the stockings and some people put little gifts or just put fruits and vegetables and uh, candy and snacks in the stockings. Um, this is how we do our stockings. I have had to learn um, which I will talk more about in my, um, what I got my kids for Christmas video, but I'm trying to be more intentional with my gift giving, even with stockings. And I'm trying to stay in a budget better than I have in past years. And this year is actually looking really good. And I'm very proud of that. Um, because I grew up with like over the top Christmases because we didn't have a lot of money growing up, but my mom would always save 
every year for Christmas. Um, and so I don't remember ever having a Christmas that wasn't just a lot of stuff. And some of that stuff may have been, you know, burned copy CDs or coloring books that she got from the Dollar Tree, but it was always just tons of stuff. And that's what I always thought Christmas was. And I'm slowly learning that that's not what Christmas is. It's not about how much stuff you get anyway. It's not about the gifts anyway, but that's definitely not it. And I would rather purchase intentional items for my kids than a bunch of random stuff that's going to get lost in a couple of days or not played with or broken or whatever. So um, that's how we're doing our stockings this year, that everything that's in there is very intentional and very budget friendly because we set a budget for $25 max on stockings per child, um, which is also part of our overall Christmas budget that I will also talk about in my, um, what I got my kids for Christmas. Um, we set a max budget of 250 to 300 per child for Christmas. And that included all their Christmas gifts their stocking, as well as their Christmas season box, which I'll have a video coming up on soon. Um, I gotta get the boxes. <laughs> so, um, I know a lot of people don't like to talk about their budgets on Christmas, but I want to keep it real for you guys and let you know that you can do Christmas in a budget. I know Katie over at Life at the Mundane, um, she has an amazing Christmas budget she's goals when it comes to budget Christmas shopping so definitely check her out I'll link her channel below for you guys and thanks for checking in on what I got my kids for their Christmas stockings